Kevin Wan is an airdrop on Satoshi, and currently the mining has concluded. So if I can scroll up here, let me go to projects on my screen. You can see, so this is Haven 1. The mining is completed, so I can mine no longer. Now, there are two things you have to do before you qualify to be able to withdraw or to claim this your Haven 1. The first thing you have to complete is their testnet phase. Yes, they have a testnet outside of this Satoshi app. And then the second thing you have to do is to link your wallet. Now, to link your wallet, all you simply have to do is click on this me section. Then the next thing you do is to click on this see all so you can view all your other airdrops. Then you scroll and look for Haven 1. So you can see it here. Once I click on this arrow here, it's open. And if I should click on this withdraw button, you can see it's not working currently. That is because the withdrawal has not started. Withdrawal is going to commence on September 30th. And that is tomorrow, a day from now. So the only thing you have to do or you should do now is to complete your testnet phase. Now, to complete your testnet phase, you either need your BitGet wallet or your MetaMask. For this video, I'll be using MetaMask. But if it doesn't work, then I'll show you how to do it on BitGet. So I'll first of all open up my MetaMask. Once my MetaMask is opened, the first thing I want to do is to go to this browser section. Look at the apps of my MetaMask. You open it up. Now, the next thing you want to do is to paste in the testnet link. Now, to get this testnet link, check the description box of this video. I'll leave a link there to my Telegram channel. Once you open that channel, you're going to see the link to this testnet. So you copy it and once it's done, you come and paste it in this um, section. You open it up. Now, once it loads up, the first thing you do on this screen is to click on this join testnet. And it's taking me to an external browser outside of my MetaMask. So once it's opened, this is the button that you need. But before you click on that button, you have to first of all scroll up. The first thing you do is to connect your wallet. So I'm going to click on this connect. And since we are using MetaMask, I'll use this my MetaMask here, this one. You click on it. So once it opens up, I'll get this prompt and all I simply have to do is click on connect and the account is active. So that means it's connected already and it returned me to this page. So what I'm doing there is to switch network to Haven 1 on my MetaMask. Let me click on this open again. Enter my MetaMask once again. Okay, so you can see this is a tick. This means that my wallet is connected. Before we proceed, let me show you something. If I should enter back to my MetaMask, click on this got it. You can see my network has switched automatically from core. Initially it was on core mainnet, but now it has switched to Haven 1 testnet note this is just a testnet so any tokens you receive here will be testnet it's not your main token having said that let's head back into the browser i'll scroll up and for this section i have to fill in my email address so i'm going to receive a code through my email which i'm going to come and paste in here to sign up for the testnet I'm meant to receive a notification, but since my phone is on do not disturb, I don't think I'll be getting it. So what I want to do is head into my Gmail account and then look for that code. So as you can see, this is the OTP here, the first one here. As you can see the time it's sent. So I'll open it, copy the code. So the code has been verified automatically and the next thing to do now is to click on sign up once i sign up this is step three and this step three requires me to provide my basic information now the first thing i'm required to put here is my wallet address and as you can see if you connected your wallet if you did that connection successfully 
your wallet is going to be pasted here or copied into here automatically. So you can see this is my wallet now is OXAC. If I enter into my MetaMask and check, I'm going to see. So you can see the wallet is the same thing. Now, although what they require you to connect is your Ethereum wallet address, but since you are using MetaMask, it doesn't matter because MetaMask is an EVM compatible wallet. So whether it is Core Wallet you are copying, it is Haven Wallet, it is Testnet, it is whatever token at all, all the addresses are the same because it is EVM. Let me show you an example. Look at this my wallet here, OXAC. That is the same wallet address for this my H1. If I should switch network on this page now and go to Ethereum main network, you can see the wallet is still the same thing. I mean, if I open up my Ethereum and let's say I want to receive a token from someone and I click on this my receive button, you can see the address is the same. So you have absolutely no issues. Leave this page and I'll head back into my Haven One testnet. So that is basically that. I'm now going back to that browser to continue my registration process. So here I'm required to put a referral code, but it's not compulsory. And if you use the link that I provide you, my referral code should be here automatically. But if it's not here, there is no cause for alarm. Just proceed. So I'll select on this account type, put individual since I'm alone, and then country of residence. If you are in Philippines, you use your country. If you're in India, you use your country. But for me, since I'm in Nigeria, I'm going to put in Nigeria here and then click on sign up. All right, so I've been registered successfully, and this is just how it is, basically. And this is my referral code here. So in case you are doing the test net and you need the referral code, you know this is what you are going to paste in that section. Now, the next thing I want to do now is to verify my identity. Now, this verification of identity will require me to put in my face. I'm going to have to snap myself and maybe provide some other details that they require. So let me click on this connect first. I'm still using MetaMask. So once my MetaMask opens up, I have to do a connection again. My account is active and it returns me back to that page. So you can see my wallet is now displaying here on the screen. So let me sign in. So that is out of the way and now they are requesting for an account type again. I'm still going to put in individual. Then my country. Okay, it's another page. So let me click on confirm. This is where I start verification and in this part, they will require me to do a proof of liveness. That is, I have to stand in front of the camera, do positioning of my face and a lot like that. And then the second part is to now provide my ID document. It depends on the document you are using in your country. It depends on the ID card you are using. If you are in Nigeria, you have to use your premium N9 slip. That is your plastic ID card. All right, for this section, you have to grant this website access to your camera. So I just click on this grant assets and allow. So the next thing is to click on this scan my face. So my camera is now connected and now I'll pause this video and finish my face authentication. So once I'm done, I continue it. So I have successfully uploaded my face scan and the next thing now, which I think is the easier method because that face scan, you need to be in a good lighting background. Make sure your camera is very clear and some other things. Why this part will just require me to, you know, take a picture of my document and provide. So I select my nationality. If you're in Finistan, if you're in India, you select your country. As for me, Nigeria. So I'm going to be putting in Nigeria and the ID I'm going to be using here. I'll be selecting this national ID 
and there i'll put in my plastic a9 slip if you don't have your plastic a9 slip check my channel check my channel i've also made a video showing you guys so you can check the top of your screen here i've pinned that video so you can go and watch it and know how you can get your plastic id card so you can use for any online verification and it's as simple as that so i click on scan my document i'm going to be scanning my id card now and in case you don't know this is how your id will look like you can see this is how it will look like i'm covering these details for security reasons and my verification is pending so according to them i have to allow up to 24 hours and then i come back here to see if they have accepted my verification now as you can see me doing this video you see i had no issues everything went straight ahead while using my metamask to do it some of you might face problems you might not be able to do it on your metamask and there's a solution you can just simply go and continue this step in your bitget wallet yes bitget allows you to do it or you can download Mrs. browser then you connect your metamask through metamask extension Mrs. browser allows you to connect your metamask wallet to the browser through an extension so once you connect your metamask there you can now proceed with these steps inside your Mrs. browser so that is the basic way to do it make sure you are subscribed to this channel when they start the connection of wallet i'm going to show you guys also again how to connect your haven one wallet so you'll be eligible for withdrawal also if you face any issues do not hesitate to comment them in the comment section of this video i'll be there to reply and provide solutions to all your queries